Bonjour, hi. Good morning. Today, I wanted to get experimental for me at least, because this has been seen on YouTube many, many times before. But I wanted to film a what I eat in a day gluten free edition, because I'm what? Gluten free, which makes it hard for me to enjoy life. I'm just kidding. Well, am I though? <laughs> so today I will be showing you everything that I ingest and drink throughout a typical day in my life. Quick disclaimer, I'm in no way a nutritionist. This is not the way you should necessarily eat. Um, and quite frankly, I do not have the best nutrition <laughs> out there. Um, I know I'm lacking probably some nutrients and that my patterns of eating are probably not the best out there. This is just sh me showcasing what I eat in a day and it's nothing more than that. It's not a way for you to lose weight. It's not a way for you to be healthier. It's not, it's not anything. It's just what I eat in a day. Okay, I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just showing you different foods that I like to eat. So that has been said. First thing I like to have in the morning is water. Because it is not rare that I wake up feeling thirsty, especially in the summer. And sometimes when I do feel a little fancy, I will add chlorophyll to my water. Remember that trend that went viral in, was it 2021 or 2020? Can't remember. That time was just weird <laughs> a couple of years ago. So I still have that um, that I got in a PR package and I actually quite enjoy it. I feel like it does something to my system. So whenever I feel fancy, I would do that. Are we feeling fancy this morning? Yes, we are. Let's add green stuff to the clear stuff. I have this big mason jar that I would very much enjoy to drink out of, but is broken. So let's use this one instead and fill it up with water. There we go. And now onto the fun part. Science. So apparently, from what I remember, chlorophyll is supposed to help detox your insides and reduce smells and just help overall with whatever's going on there. I mean, if it's placebo, it's still placebo. It still works, right? Right? I don't know. I personally like my water super cold, like not freezing, but almost. So let's add some ice in there. Apparently, I don't, I don't know. I've heard somewhere that drinking cold water, it's not very good for your system. Um, but then other people say that taking freezing cold showers is very good for um, the circulation. So who am I to trust here? Who am I to believe and follow? Huh? I don't know. Refreshing. I used to have coffee almost immediately upon waking, but then I listened to a podcast where they talked about um, like sleeping habits and just life habits in general that would help with the sleeping schedule and they mentioned that apparently um, I haven't done the research for this so I have nothing to back me up here so I'm just gonna trust their word but essentially what they said was that when you wake up you have this one hour window where your body still produces some sort of hormone that is um, related to sleep so it helps you to get out of that slow mode of that sleep mode and by taking caffeine in that one hour window, it would block those hormones, therefore making you more tired when the caffeine is not working anymore. Essentially, that was it. So when I heard this, I've been trying to implement this into my life and now I wait at least one hour um, after waking up before taking a coffee and sometimes two hours and sometimes three just because I don't think of it. Um, it is harder when I'm working, obviously, because I want to be simulated and I want to be like on the top of my game when I'm 
answering to emails and I don't want to be in that slow state of mind, but that's why I also try and wake up more than one hour before I work so I can get my first coffee in approximately at the same time that I start working. That was way too much detail for just coffee. But, hey. but with that being said, I'm gonna start working um, and sip on my green water and eventually we'll get coffee. It is now time for one of my favorite times of the day, which is coffee time. Normally I would know if I would wanna go for a hot coffee or a iced coffee, but today I'm very uncertain. Because in my bedroom, it's super hot. But then when I got into the kitchen, it was cold. So I'm thinking we're gonna go with hot. Let's do, let's do a latte. wrong with this oat milk but it's not frothing properly anyway disappointing the look is a bit disappointing but I'm sure the taste is gonna be great as predicted it is delicious for those of you wondering does she eat breakfast no I don't I don't eat breakfast or at least I rarely eat Eat breakfast if I were to eat breakfast it would be something like a smoothie like rice cream maybe um, yogurt or some sort of brunch and the reason behind this is honestly I just don't feel super hungry in the morning I know it's not the healthiest habit to have but as I've mentioned in the beginning I'm not here to talk about healthy habits I'm here to talk about what I eat as someone who doesn't eat gluten and thankfully coffee doesn't have gluten so cheers to that the reason i don't eat gluten is because i am gluten intolerant by default i like to say um in 2019 i was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis also known as uc for shorter you know ulcerative u colitis c um and it's a inflammatory disease of the bowel so of the digestive system more specifically in the colon it's a condition where my digestive system gets inflamed very easily and it makes it very um, sensitive and it just so happens that gluten is a protein that um, inflames naturally the digestive system for people who don't even have any bowel disease um, it's just very inflammatory and so for someone who already has a very sensitive colon, it's not, it's not a great match. Again, I'm not as scientific. I have nothing to back me up here. I've just done some research and this is what has came up. And so by the recommendation of someone I used to work with who was also diagnosed with uh, UC, they suggested to stop eating gluten and see how I felt because I had a bunch of flares and the doctor would not be able to precisely do anything about it other than uh, give me a medication prescription which I already had and they just told me to avoid spicy foods but I felt like something was still off so then I stopped eating gluten and it helped it really helped with the flares so I'm not celiac I'm not allergic to gluten I'm just intolerant and I have nothing to prove it it's just the way I feel in my body oh, that was a big speech for gluten anyway cheers to gluten i'm wearing a different outfit and i have makeup on because i've gotten ready to film another video which is already up by the time you're watching this so if you want to watch it it's here i'm showing off all the great gems i found uh last time i went thrifting but now it's 2 30 and i am starving so let's make lunch usually for lunch i always go for something quick and easy not too complicated something very simple um because one i'm eating normally super late and i don't have much time to eat and to cook um so i'll i'll, I'll just go with what i usually eat which is eggs and whatever i have in my fridge
I broke him the yoke. But that's okay. That is lunch. I originally wanted to make two eggs, but I only did one because my plate is already full. Um, we have some prosciutto because it was on sale when I went grocery shopping. So I got it and I'm a big sucker for charcuterie board. So prosciutto it is with a little bit of mustard. I would have preferred Dijonese or Dijon, but that's what I had. And some rice crackers because I can't have regular crackers, but rice is my savior here. So anything rice based replaces anything that would normally contain gluten. So cheers to rice and some cucumbers because we want some green in there, some hydration, some um, vegetables. Let's get to eating. I have a friend to eat with me today. I have a friend, look. He's not mine, but he's my friend. <laughs> As I said, this is super simple. It was quick, it was easy, but it's delicious and it's the kind of lunch that I really enjoy eating on a daily basis. So, bon appetit. Don't forget your water. I have changed my outfit again, um, but I swear it's the same day. It's just that I had to film a TikTok where I pick a different outfit for every single day in June. I switched it up and now I'm wearing cargo pants, uh, this and a shirt, but it is the same day. If I could prove how can I prove it? You just have to trust my word for it. I am getting a bit hungry. So I was thinking I could cook one of my favorite meals, um, a taco bowl. I have cooked some tacos yesterday, so I have a little bit of leftover meat. And what I like to do when I have leftover taco meat is a taco bowl. So essentially it's pretty much everything that would be in it. Well, not, not really, but it is inspired by tacos and what they contain. So this first step for me to do is cook rice because that's the base. Again, gluten-free, can't eat um, tortilla. Well, if they're corn tortilla, I can eat them, but usually the real tacos, like with the soft shell, are um, wheat tacos, so they're made out of normal flour. So instead, what I have to do is pretty much switch up anything that may contain gluten with rice. As I said at lunchtime, um, I love rice, so it's a good thing that it doesn't contain gluten because it is my savior in so many ways. I have discovered this type of rice approximately six months ago and it is now my favorite kind of rice it's the calrose calrose rice it's it's amazing it's it gets like a little sticky it has a nice texture i didn't think that rices like different kind of rices had different kind of textures and and, and shapes and stuff and this one is my favorite that's all i wanted to say all of this for that wow now let's wash the rice if you don't wash your rice first of all you second of all what are you doing third of all i was that person before so no judgment but wash your rice please thank you actually you're going to thank me later now let's cook it and while this is cooking i'm gonna cut some veggies For cleaning purposes, I have taken off my shirt and I will be eating on the ground rather than on the couch because this is what we have going on. There is a lot 
of food on that plate. So we have the rice, we have the ground turkey with the taco seasoning from yesterday. There is sour cream with tahini on top. There is salsa, tomato, um, green onions, cilantro, and I added a uh, half of the cucumber I had left over from today for lunch. Cucumbers don't go in tacos normally, but cooking is improvising. It's experimenting, it's trying new things. And I like the crunch of cucumbers, so I added them in there. That's a lot of food. But food is fuel and my body needs it. Let's dive right in. Bon appétit! Mmm! Oh wow, this is good. I love this meal so much. I love making this. Honestly, if I could have it every week, I would. In fact, I can. I can have it every week if I want to. And sometimes I do. Mmm. The cilantro just... Ooh! Ooh! Mm -mm -mm. And again, don't forget your water because hydration is key. Mm. Update, I am done eating. I haven't finished all of my plate. That was too much food. At least for now, at least for today, that was too much for tonight. I am full. I'm full. But that's a good problem. Though I would take a nap right now. But I can't nap right now. Because I have to do the dishes. Because this is what happens when you cook. You gotta clean up. I love being an adult. The last thing I'll be having today is a cup of tea. I don't necessarily have tea every single night. Um, but I do have it when I feel like I need some sort of help with digestion and with calming down. So tonight is one of those nights where I need tea. I need a cup of tea, please. I've been watching The Crown, so... <laughs> don't question the British accent. It's me watching the Queen. Right, let's make tea. I'm going in with this apple, cinnamon, and turmeric, no. You know what, I'm changing my mind. I don't wanna have that one. <gasps> I'm going for this one. It's one of my favorite herbal tea. It's from David's Tea. And it's the, oh, so good, Forever Nuts. That's what I wanted. And it says it right here. Nutty, sweet, and addictive. That's right. And this is when the magic happens because in French it's called magic nut. Because look, it changes color. It becomes red, well. It's usually deeper than that, but it becomes like pink. Oh yeah. Can you see it? See? It's changing color. That's because of the beet in there. I believe there's beet in there. Beet juice or... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. So that concludes it. This was what I eat in a day as a gluten-free gal. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to end this by reminding everyone that I am not a nutritionist. In no way I believe that this is the perfect way to be eating if you're gluten-free or if you're not gluten-free for that matter. Um, you should and can eat whatever you want to eat and if you're uncertain you should consult a specialist which I am not. So on that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I truly mean it. Um, hopefully I have made a little difference in your day today. If you would like to make a difference in mine, you know what to do. And I'm going to wish you in bonjour.